Well, a new groundbreaking procedure could help thousands of people win the battle against the bulge. And joining us now is Dr. Roy Brand Catizano from the Australian Institute of Weight Control. Good morning, Good to, morning you. to you. Good morning to you. Just explain, if you could, how this works. Yeah, now this is a, a, a pacemaker-like device that basically sends low-energy electrical signals to the, to the hunger nerves around the lower esophagus to basically tone down hunger or appetite. And as, as uh, a lot of people who need to lose weight, the biggest issue, they know what to do, they know they need to eat healthily and eat less food, but the biggest distraction is hunger. Mm. The less we eat, the hungrier we get. But we now have a tool that can help us. This can switch off the appetite or the hunger signals, which enables people and that, uh, it empowers people to do the right thing and eat less food. Can anyone have the device inserted? Who is it best suited to? This is best suited for people that are obese, people that need to lose 20 or 30 kilos. Who, Who've tried everything. They've tried everything. Mm. They've tried everything to lose weight, but they're distracted by hunger. And if we can turn down the hunger switch, I think people are better able to do the right thing and eat healthily and eat less food, smaller portions. It's not cheap, is it, this, this device, this procedure? Um, and I understand you're hoping to have it subsidised down the track? Yes, we are. And we're working towards getting government subsidies for this procedure. But in the overall context, obesity and chronic disease, including type 2 diabetes, cost the community a lot of money. We're talking about billions of dollars of health care costs related to obesity. So this is a tool that goes towards helping people lose weight and eradicating a lot of their health problems. How does it, what, what's the long term status with it? Does it stay with that particular person for life or is it something then that you would remove at a later date? No, it stays uh, with the particular person for life and the clinical trials that we've done in Australia uh, and we're at the forefront of development of this technology and did the initial clinical trials. They've gone back for five years now. So it's a very safe uh, procedure. It's done with keyhole surgery and it's there for life. But the beauty is we can turn it off, we can switch it on, we can adapt the technology to different patients' needs. Mm. Well, with uh, this pretty alarming statistics in this country, aren't they, with one in four people considered either overweight or obese, I imagine there'll be an enormous amount of interest. Best of luck with it and thank you so much for explaining it to us this morning. Thank you very much.